Crafty Review here, coming from uh, Cantina Montoya. Uh, one of our review days. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been out here and done this. But, uh, so you've been on, uh, recently you went on vacation out to Illinois, right? Yep. So uh, i got a cousin that lives uh, in Chicago. And Chicago, man, it's, I, I love Chicago. Every, every time I go, it's a community that's, well, one, it, this, the weather's nice. When it's 130 degrees here, it's like 75 in, <laughs> in Chicago. Uh, great food, good people that we always hang out with. But one thing that I love the most is Chicago is so tapped into the craft beer scene, man, that it, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, we can go to the most shady back alley liquor store. Because you would. I would. That's my that's my, that's my stopping ground. <laughs> and uh, you go. We don't want to go to the main spot. We want to go somewhere that don't have any lights and the guy has one too. <laughs> I trust them. I trust them. He can open a beer. That's, that's all I That's my people, man. <laughs> but you go and they have a section that's far bigger than even some of our grocery stores or, or liquor stores out here of craft beer, man. So everywhere is so tapped into to craft beer. And the Midwest, man, just makes some, some damn good beer. So that's actually, while I was out there, I'm an IPA guy at heart, but um, I started to want to try to get into sours. I've been reading articles in like Beer Advocate and stuff on how sours are like a fast growing uh, segment of the beer industry. And a lot of uh, breweries are starting to invest because sour beers take some creativity to brew them. And a lot of them are barrel aged um, or aged and it takes the minimum of six months. Yeah, you never know how they're going to turn yep. out after you do yep. it, right? Yep. The uh, the way you make the beer is very spontaneous, and um, it's it's interesting because like you and I brew beer, so when you brew, you spend so much time making sure you don't get any you know bacteria or anything. Yet sour beers is a style that's made with bacteria. Yep. So you're taking something that's so spontaneous and and uh, you can't control it and you're trying to control it to make the style of beer and hoping it comes out with the flavor profile that exactly you want and um, so yep, so I've tried some hefts I've tried some other styles to for a lighter beer um, but I'm starting to get into sour beers when I want something a little bit lighter and not as heavy as an IPA yeah. so when I was in Chicago um, I tried a bunch of um, a bunch of different sour beers um, and one of them that I just kept on seeing was from the beer that we're about to do today um, hope I'm pronouncing it right, don't know, but I think it's Distill uh, Brewery, which is out of Bloomington, Illinois. Um, quick backstory, the uh, brewmaster, CEO, his name was Matt Potts. He was given a brew kit uh, in, I think it was 95. I did it as a hobby, you know, as he was going into, uh, he was going to law school and um, kept doing it as a hobby on the side. Did the law thing for about 11 years. Didn't like it, so the, as they put it, he traded in his briefcase for a mash paddle. Uh, and in 2007, he opened up Distill Brewing. Um, they make a uh, different variety of beers. He said they make about 50 different types of beers um, in a year. One of their most popular styles, though, is um, there's a name for it. I can't remember what it's called, but it's their Wild Sour series. They have a name, Saint something or the other, but um, they're Wild Sour. Um, so I had a couple of their Wild Sours when I was uh, in Chicago and um, absolutely loved them. Absolutely did. Um, so the beer that we're doing today love the name here goes nothing um, again it's a uh, sour style of beer couldn't find too much specs in terms of um, like wheat or uh, well not wheat I'm sorry grains or um, hops anything like that that they use but uh, it's five percent ABV so keep, keep it middle in the road you know, yep middle road nothing too crazy and 12 on the IBU scale which is another interesting thing to me because we talk so much about bitterness and you know a high IBU means a lot of bitterness typically um, but there's, I don't know if there's really a scale for tart <laughs> and sweet and sour. This tartness isn't really bitter. Yeah, exactly. Although it seems to be really close. It's yep. just not the same. Scale. Yep, exactly. So low on the IBU, but again, sour beers, as you can imagine, are tart, acidic, um, and sour. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but beer itself has won uh, some awards. Um, they've won the Beverage Tasting Institute uh, at the Beverage Testing Institute. Uh, they won the silver medal back in 2014. Um, this particular beer, and then at the Los Angeles International Beer Competition, uh, they won silver medal as well uh, for here it goes nothing. Um, so again, it does use a wild yeast um, that they use um, to add a level of sourness and tartness um, to the beer, and um, this isn't the only style that they have for their wild series. They have another one called Lynn, Lynnbrook, Lynnwood, that one's really good, um, but uh, they have a whole bunch of others that they do throughout the year as well. So, you can see this in the can. Yeah. yeah. Best, best way to, pour, uh, to get a beer across the state line. There you go. All the way from Illinois in a can, I'll take it. Yeah. And I think what's funny is 
so I started liking the brewery, you know, a couple weeks back, a month ago, when I started, uh, when I tied it for the first time, and I was actually writing with my, uh, the company I work for, she's actually the president, and I told her that I like craft beer, I'm really into craft beer, and she said, oh yeah, my daughter just started working uh, at a brewery, and I was like, oh yeah, she, yeah, she's the sales rep, she's the first female sales rep that this brewery or any of the surrounding breweries in her area um, ever, uh, ever has had. And I was like, oh yeah, what, what brewery is it? She said, oh, it's Distilled Brewing in Illinois. Like, oh, that's, I just tried their beer. I've fallen in love with them. I like, so it was funny. They was just random. The randomness that I would come across that. So, so props out to Destil. We know, I mean, I have a wife that drinks. You have a wife that drinks. So, so props to Destil for getting in, uh, getting women in on, on in, the in, beer. in an industry where males predominant being beer. Yep. Uh, we go to many beer festivals and there's just as many women beer yep. drinkers and they enjoy beer yep. just as much as men do. And I think it's now because they offer a big variety yeah. of different styles of beer. So they're they're interested in trying to find something different to drink yep. as well. Yep, a lot of converters. I mean, actually, and that's what's funny is I was having a conversation with this woman at uh, my work. She was saying well, that's why she actually is getting into craft beer because of the sour styles. Because she's a big wine drinker, really sweet, really tart type of wine drinker. And she's like, I didn't even know they had sour style of beers or, or sweet style of beers. And her daughter, she's already a good salesman, um, is getting her mom hooked on to uh, that style of beer. And so. it's a great bridge way for those that are drinking wine to get yep. into craft beer or yep. any style of beer because yep. it is an easy transition. And it just but goes to show profiles are the same. there's something for everybody. Yeah, that's exactly. what we love about and that's beer. what we'll be trying to say. Yep. You so, never know. Well, go ahead and crack this open. Stuff, man. 
Would you tap it? I would tap the shit out of it. Yep, I would definitely tap it. Good beer, good, nice, refreshing flavor. And again, for those that might be wine drinkers, um, I don't know anything about wine, but champagne, whatever style. You don't want to drink that punky wine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely a great way to introduce people to, to craft beer if that's something that they're into. They're trying to make that transition. I agree. I would tap the shit out of it. I do. I really enjoy it. And we tend to agree a lot with tapping the beer. Yep. But I think it's because we still have a lot of similarities in what we like to enjoy. Yep. And there's times when, we have, it's been a while since we haven't really enjoyed a beer. Yep. Uh, because I, I tend to try to find the goodness of a beer mm-hmm. rather than saying, you know, I don't like this. But I, there's things that I like about all beers. Uh, I don't try to knock on it, but I try to find something that I really like about it and expand on that rather than the stuff I don't like. Yep. But I definitely got shit out of nice. this beer. Good stuff. Yep. There you go. What, uh, wild Sour. Out of uh, Bloomington, Illinois, Distilled Brewing Company. You guys are doing a great job. Obviously, a trend that's uh, more popular now moving forward is the sour styles of beers. Uh, you guys got something going on here. I'm sure everybody else has their own uh, twist on their own sours, which we yep. try to get into that as well. But uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Don't Facebook. Forget your Don't forget your Facebook. Don't forget your growlers. <laughs> uh, come from Cantina Montoya. Re- uh, review day. Finally get back into it. We'll see you next time. Cheers.